My name's Chef Julie, and today we're going to be making country style spare ribs. I had about a cup of graham flour that I made homemade. And we're just going to dredge our country style pork really, really well. And I had about a little over two pounds, and I used about a cup of the graham flour in lieu of the, the white flour. So you see, I've already done the rest of these right here, and we're gonna put it in our Dutch oven. Ah, oh, look at that. Nice. You have to be really careful when adding the oil. So we're gonna give this a nice sear on both sides. and flip over our country style spare ribs with the pork. Mm. Alright, look at that nice golden brown. And that graham flour is crisping up perfect. I'm gonna go ahead and let this cook for another two to three minutes. Okay, great. Now we've seared both sides. This. Equal parts of water, so we have two cups of water. Now, wonderful. We have our mirepoix, onions, carrots, and celery. So we're gonna go ahead and put all of that in there. I love fresh parsley. Now we have half a bulb of fresh garlic. Now we're gonna let this braise on top of the stove for about two and a half hours or so. I soaked my Yukon Gold potatoes. I have about three medium potatoes and I wanna take the starch out of that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let our country style spare ribs cook for about an hour first and then I'm gonna drain my potatoes and add that to it and let it cook for another hour. Just a lazy bubble on your braise. Now we're going to add our potatoes. Then we're going to cover and let this cook for another hour and 15 minutes. And here's the finished product of our country style ribs. Mmm.